All right, Leo. Let's get a reading for the sign of Leo. This is going to be for going into February. For the sign of Leo, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading for the sign of Leo. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. Um, if you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys are returning, welcome back. Um, so you guys got on the top of the deck, only time will tell. Um, you also got surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Okay, so there might be something here, Leo, that you, you may need to surrender. Um, out with the old, in with the new. You also got romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Alright, one sec, y'all. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. All right, so you guys could have romance coming in in the month of February with this romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. There may be something that you may need to surrender in order to allow something new to come in. All right, let's see. What are the messages for the sign of Leo, please? Keep in mind that this is general. This is a collective reading, so some things may resonate more than others. Take what fits, leave the rest. If you guys want a personal reading, information will be down below. We got attention of others. I am addicted to the attention of others. I love feeling wanted and needed, and I don't feel whole without it. Then you got, you are my favorite person. <laughs> Out of all the people I get attention from, you're my favorite. <laughs> okay, you are the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. The first thought when I have news to share, you're my person. Okay, let's keep going. Leo, what are the messages please for Leo? We got spoiling you. I want to give you the good life. I want to spoil you with the gifts and trips and everything you could ever want or need. You deserve nothing less. And then you got you hurt me. Everything that has happened hurt me so much. I need more time to heal. So either you, Leo, or this person may need more time to heal. Someone may want to spoil the other person. And then we got my fantasy on the bottom of the deck. You are my fantasy. I have pictures and videos saved of you. And I use them for inspiration. I want you. Are you sure that's all you use them for? Alright. Let's see. Let's get some more messages please. For the sign of Leo. What else is going on with Leo please? You got stress. Turbulence. Tension. Arguments. And then you got resistance. Secret admirer. Suppressing and timid. So someone here could be resisting or there could be some type of resistance. Um, uh, you had um, return, second chance opportunity and making amends and pain, apprehensive, afraid, and cautious. Uh, I only do the single card, so you take it if it resonates, if it doesn't, let it fly. You also got distracted, sidetrack, change, and delays. So either you're distracted or someone else could be distracted or there could have been some type of distraction that came in and caused some type of change or delays um, either you or the other person could be feeling stressed there could be some type of tension or turbulence here uh, disagreements arguments whatever um, someone is definitely suppressing their feelings or someone here is very timid we got divine feminine yin feminine energy so you could be the divine feminine here who i'm speaking to or you could be dealing with one um, and you got past life, deja vu, repeated patterns, and karmic lessons. I see you, bum bum. Alright, so let's see. What are the messages, please, for Leo moving into February? First card out is going to be for Leo's overall energy. I'll read you on this side, Leo, uh, the other person on this side. However, keep in mind the roles can be reversed, so flip it, switch it um, according to your situation. All right, so let's see. What is Leo's overall energy, please? Moving into the month of February. What is Leo's overall energy, please? Moving into February. Ooh. We got the Four of Cups. So there could be a rejection here. Some of you guys could be receiving a love offer, but <laughs> why do you do that to me? My rabbit. I wish you guys could see her, but... By the time I would turn the camera around, she'd move. And she's like, hey, get away from my Wi-Fi. Bum bun. Get down. 
You see this face? What it thought. Sayo, she tries to take out the Wi Fi cord. I'll be back. All right, Leo. So sorry for all the interruptions. Let's go back to your reading, though. Four of Cups. Some of you guys could be feeling bored or discontent with love. You may be looking at other options. Um, yeah, let's see. The person that Leo's dealing with, show me their overall energy going into the month of February. Judgment. Scorpionic energy here. So, whoever you're dealing with, Leo, this person may want a second chance. Uh, judgment talks about forgiveness, learning, lessons. Um... Forgiveness, second chances, learning some type of lessons here. Also calling judgment on a situation, so making a final decision about something. Okay, show me Leo's emotions moving into February. Show me Leo's emotions. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Tell me more about Leo's emotions. Moving in, and Two of Wands reverse. Ten of Wands on the bottom and Ten of Swords. Some of you could be rejecting this, whoever this person is. But the Knight of Cups in the reverse, that's like a love bombing energy. This is someone who's not expressing their emotions. Two of Wands in the reverse talks about indecision, lack of direction, lack of, you know, indecisive, not making a choice or a decision. And the Ten of Swords, there's some type of an ending here. Or you may feel betrayed by someone. Okay. Or you could have done this to someone. Take that that resonates. Show me this person's emotions. But the Knight of Cups in the reverse, Two of Wands in the reverse. It's like that love bombing, that one night stand, that indecision, not making a choice or a decision, uh, fear of change, fear of making a choice or a decision. Show me this person's emotions, please. The three of cut or the three of pentacles, excuse me. Tell me more about this person's emotions. Page of Swords. So this person could be this person could be talking to other people with the Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles here. Um this person could also be spying, watching, looking, getting information, maybe, you know, talking to other people. There could be some type of delayed communication. Maybe someone's wanting to work together, but they're delaying reaching out. They're just watching. Okay, show me what Leo, how is Leo moving going into temperance? Show me how this person is moving going into, okay. So whoever you're dealing with, Leo, this person's feeling like something here is an ongoing battle or a struggle. They could be feeling a little bit insecure or guarded at this time. You are moving into February feeling at peace <laughs> uh, with this temperance angel being here. There's divine protection around you, divine timing, keeping one foot in, in water, one foot on land. But why is your emotion so like... Some of you just aren't happy about something and you're not really expressing it. You feel betrayed. There's some type of fear of change here. Fear of making a choice. You may have felt like you missed an opportunity or I don't know what's going on here, Leo. I wasn't expecting your reading to go this way. Show me Leo's intentions in this situation. Justice. You want something to be fair. You want balance. You want peace. You want equal reciprocity. Okay, show me this person's intentions. Still don't understand what's going on here. But the Emperor. This person's planning on taking charge or their intentions here is to... This person could be working, networking... This person could work in communications. Or have to do something with like paperwork. Their intentions is the emperor. Your intentions. 
is the justice card. So that's like both taking both of your guys' intentions is to like take charge of a situation, do what's fair, do what's balanced, remain in a position of power, authority, control. Show me the outcome between Leo and whoever this person is. Yep, sun in the reverse. There you are, Leo. Show me the outcome of this situation. Jeez Louise, what is the f <laughs> What is this? I don't understand. Tell me more about the outcome here with Leo, High Priestess. We got Leo, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, Libra, and then the truth. Okay. So there could be a breakthrough in communication. Someone here could travel for work, or some yeah, someone could travel for work, or All right, why is the sun here in the reverse, Spirit? Why is the sun in the reverse? This is like a lack of optimism, lack of growth, lack of fertility, strength in the reverse. Leo, this is you. Oh my. Sun in reverse, strength in reverse. So that's both your energies. And they're both in the reverse, Leo. There's something here where you feel like you don't have control over a situation or you're like, you may feel powerless. You may feel like you're in the dark. The fool in the reverse. It's like not wanting to take any type of a risk here. Ten of Swords. Again. Hmm. Give me one more. Queen of Pentacles. There could be an ending here with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be an end to a commitment here with this hair font in the reverse. And maybe you're not wanting to take any risks because there's... Or you're just not feeling free. There's something here that's like fucking with your confidence or like fucking with your emotions causing indecisions, delays, and it has to do with something surrounding an ending. Maybe with the commitment, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Show me this hair font in the reverse. Five of swords in the reverse. Five of wands upright. So there is some type of drama, arguments, fights, conflicts going on here. And with the five of swords in the reverse, it's like you don't want to like... This could be you surrendering. Oh yeah, you had the surrender card too, huh? At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So there could be some type of conflict. This could even be like a conflict with other people. Tradition, values, morals, belief systems could be a factor as well. But the Five of Swords talks about surrendering. So show me the High Priestess, Pisces energy. Seven of Swords and Knight of Wands in the reverse. Oy. Oh, shit. So there's some type of like lies, deception. Someone here is very in and out. Someone here has a lot of secrets, or someone's keeping some type of one night stands shit secret. Or there's. What is this? What's the Ace of Swords? What is this Ace of Swords, please? The Justice card. Libra, Four of Swords, oh, four of swords here. <sighs> so there could be some type of truth or clarity that could bring balance to a situation, allow healing to take place. Or somebody here wants to do the right thing with justice and tell the truth so that a situation can be healed or someone's... Also feeling very mentally overloaded. Maybe if there is any type of legal decisions here or court decisions or legalities, there could be like a breakthrough or 
with that. But this Knight of Wands in the reverse, High Priestess, Seven of Swords, someone here can be like sneaking around. The Knight of Wands in the reverse is like that player energy. The High Priestess can talk about secrets, mystery, intuition, things that are hidden, the unknown. And the Seven of Swords is definitely like deception, sneaky, trickery. Sun in the reverse. Why is the sun in the reverse? The fool. Interesting. Who's this Queen of Pentacles to Leo? For some, this could be you. Okay. The death card. Scorpio energy. Now this is someone who you're ending things with. You're going through an ending with whoever this Queen of Pentacles energy is. Or if this is you, you're still going through an ending. Whatever. Um, I feel like you are trying to free yourself. There could be some oppressing. Oppression. Yeah, suppressing. Timid. You could be the one that's suppressing or resisting something. I don't know. Leo, you hurt me. Everything that has happened hurt me so much. I need more time to heal. Someone could be saying that. They need time to heal. The Knight of Cups in the reverse and your energy and the Two of Wands in the reverse. I mean, again, the roles can be reversed, Leo, so flip the roles according to your situation. This could be something that Leo did to you. You could be dealing with another Leo. You could be the Leo that did this. I don't know. But the Knight of Cups in the reverse, that's like a love bomber. That's someone who's like insensitive, um, two of ones in the reverse, four of cups is like someone who doesn't want what's being offered to them. They're looking at other options. The knight of cups in the reverse is like that love bombing, indecision, unable to make a choice or a decision. I don't know if the betrayal happened on your part or someone did it to you, but, um, how are you moving? You're at peace. That's so weird. Or something here is being balanced out. Show me temperance. Sagittarius, uh, Libra and energy. With how Leo's moving. The six of wands. Yeah, you feel victorious. Victorious. Why is justice here for Leo's intentions? The two of swords and the four of wands. Where are the Two of Swords? Wow. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what to say here, y'all. Like, probably gonna hate me. But, whatever. Flip the rules, I don't care. Someone here is like straight up non-committal. Like, Queen and King of Pentacles coming out. If you are in a commitment, if you are in a marriage with someone, I don't know, you could be the feminine or the masculine. Whether or not you have this masculine who's non-committal and you're this queen of pentacles and you're going through a very painful ending with this person. Or you're the non-committal one. Either way, there's divided loyalties here. And there could be, you know, someone could be planning on getting a divorce. Something here could be karma. It's almost like someone feels protected. Someone here likes a lot of attention. Someone here gets a lot of attention. Someone here could be in the public eye. High social status. This could be someone you live with. 
But there's conflict here. Why? Because there's someone's non-committal, but with the five of swords, it's like surrendering. The side priestess could be a mistress, a side piece. Someone could be sneaking around with a mistress or a side piece. Pisces energy, Aries Leo Sag. Someone may have found out the truth. What to say. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords, please. be some type of unexpected opportunity or a financial windfall here um, or this could be a message that comes in that comes as a shock and causes a tower moment what's this tower about what is this tower about some type of messages communication travel tell me more about this tower the nine of pentacles someone's Trying to move towards being single because someone's juggling. I don't know who's doing what. Someone's going back and forth though. Someone here could even be starting drama, trying to like get out of a commitment or trying to do things to like get out of something. Like sabotaging something. If you're this divine feminine here, I feel like you are someone who's loyal, committed, grounded, but there's an ending, there's a betrayal. Someone here is sneaking around with someone on the side in secret. And they're very like slick and sly. Okay. Someone here is not happy. They're feeling bored, discontent. Leo, that could be you. Are you love bombing someone? This person over here, what are they doing? What does this person on this side want with Leo? The lovers, a relationship, a partnership. This could be one of the options, King of Swords. So they're wanting someone to make a decision about this, Gemini energy. Or someone's wanting someone to make a decision, make a damn choice, I don't know. Yeah, judgment again. Magician in the reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Someone here could be like an artist, or someone here could be very skilled at whatever they do. Someone here could even be a very skilled manipulator. That could be a thing. Emperor. Someone could regret leaving someone hanging. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, Three of Wands, Two of Cups, Nine of Cups, High Priestess. Oh, strong Pisces energy here with the Hangman, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, High Priestess. Nine, nine of Cups, Two of Cups. Someone here is in a relationship with someone at a distance or someone here is having a realization having some type of regrets of looking at other options. 
Someone here has intentions, the Emperor. Why is there intentions, the Emperor? I don't... King of Wands in the reverse. What the hell? What's going on? Y'all gotta let me know in the comments what this is. I don't know. What is this person's intentions? Four of Cups, Six of Pentacles. What's a nine of wands for their for their how they're moving? What's a nine of wands for how they're moving? Why is the nine of wands? Three of pentacles in the hair font. This person's trying to work towards some type of commitment. The nine of wands is someone who's like um they're tired, they're wounded, but they still have the resilience to get up and keep going, you know? So whoever this person is, they feel tired, they feel wounded, but they, they're still striving towards something. They're trying to take, like, on this position. Like, this is someone who's very strong, secure, stable. They're working towards some type of commitment, or that's what they want. Okay, I'm going to leave this reading, because uh, I don't know, whatever. All right, can I get three romance angels? Maybe. I don't know if this is necessarily romantic, y'all. I don't think that's the right deck. I'm not going to pull from there. Let's do Alice in Wonderland. Can I get three cards to close this reading out for Leo? Uh, it's always tea time. Eternity, endless moments, and repetition. We also got... Belong to your own dream, create your own life, and manage to be glad, create your own happiness regardless of conditions, laws, not justice, rules that are not fair. I don't know, is someone not playing fair? And they feel justified because there's no actual contract or a commitment here? Those are not fair. Check it how you will. I'm going to leave this reading here. Let me know how it resonates with you guys. Um, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.